ZBrush 2019 is here and with it a host of new features to check out. I'm Foligon and in this video we'll be taking a look at the new NPR tools added to ZBrush 2019. At first glance I think this feature looks really gimmicky, but after I've had the opportunity to get in and play with it and also see the crazy things that everyone else was doing, I think these filters are going to have some really cool uses. I could totally see them being used for rendering images for something like a children's book or a variety of different styles for prints that you could hang up on your wall. So let's get in and start experimenting with these filters. I have a couple objects in my screen here that we'll be using for our demonstration. I've turned on perspective and go ahead and turn on your floor as well. These tools have been integrated with the BPR filter system that is already in ZBrush. So let's start by docking our render palette over on the left side of our screen for easier access to these filters. Click on the BPR button at the top right corner of your screen to perform a render with the current settings. This is what we get with the default BPR render settings, but what I would like to look at is up here in our light box under filters. Let's just go ahead and double click on any one of these. And immediately you'll see that we start getting a new filtered effect. Let's just go through and try out a couple more of these to see all the different types of styles that we can get. Very quickly, I'll also change my material to skin shade four, which is a default material. And I'll change the colors of my objects around as well. I'm doing this just so we can get a little bit of a better perspective on what these filters are doing. Now all of these are just different filters that either the staff at Pixelogic or some of the beta testers like myself have had the opportunity to create. So try out a couple of these and see all the different effects that you can get. Now what's actually happening underneath the surface when we're double clicking on these different filter settings is that we're playing around with the different settings in the BPR filters. So I can go through and one by one start turning off all of these filters until we get back to just our basic render. So let's take a moment and look at some of the new filters that have been added to ZBrush 2019. First, let's just go ahead and click on reset filter to make sure that all of this is back to normal. And then to activate the filter, simply click that icon in the top right hand corner. From here, I'm going to click the filter drop down and choose displace. Immediately you'll see that the geometry is actually getting this displacement filter applied and it's a pretty crazy effect. So let's look at some of the different sliders in here and what they do. This top slider will affect the strength of the displacement while the radius slider will determine the size of the individual displacement. Additionally on pretty much every slider we have this opacity filter so if we don't want this to be affecting the model quite as strong we can slowly start to fade that out. All the other sliders down here are used to clip, crop, and mask certain parts of the image. Probably the most used one here will be mask, which if you put this all the way on one, will mask off everything except for the 3D objects. And by putting that on minus one, it will only affect your background. Putting that, of course, on zero makes it affect both the object and the background. Another really popular one is the shadow slider, which of course, if you only put that on one, will only affect shadows and the opposite for the negative. All right, let's come up here and create a new filter by clicking on F2, and we'll also reset that filter as well and turn that back on. Under filter, let's select texture. Now let's go up into our light box and find a nice alpha for us to choose. Double click on that alpha to select it, and then come over here, click on alpha, and make texture. Now when we click on this texture button, we should have the alpha cross hatch here that we can select. Let's set our blend mode to something like darken and our mask to only our background. And then I'm just going to use the texture slider here to scale it down a little bit. And if we don't like the effect we're getting, maybe we can try playing around with our masking selections to create a different effect. Let's go ahead and create another filter here, reset, and turn it on. And let's try the filter overpaint color selection. This is probably one of the coolest filters, in my opinion, that's been added to ZBrush 2019. It's really powerful, and I'll show you why here in just a moment. Let's scale this up so that you can see what's happening, and you'll see that this overpaint color effect, wherever these squares are, is actually sampling and averaging the color that's underneath it. So let's go into our modifiers and start playing around with our orientation and rotation here to get a little bit of a different effect. For example, if I turn the width and height to one, our render will start looking a little bit pixelated. So we can play around with this, scale this down really small, and there's all sorts of different effects that we can get here. Let's go back to our modifiers and play around with this a little bit more. Not only can you adjust a lot of the settings here, but you can also add some variation at random, similar to how you might work in Fiber Mesh. So I'm just going to play around here with some of the settings and see if I can get a cool effect. There's a ton of different options in here. Take some time to play around and see what you can come up with. If you guys want to start playing around with some of these filters, there's a link down in the description where you can download some of the custom filters that I've been playing around with. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash where I have even more tutorials, courses, brushes, materials, 
all the stuff that I use professionally for my work. Check it out. There's a link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.